Hey guys, welcome back to new build. This build is a part of the Lickio Cast Summer Shell Challenge. If you're confused to what that is or want more information on the challenge itself, I'll talk more about it in the voiceover in the speed build part of this video. That's all I have for now, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tour and I'll see you at the voiceover. Bye!
Welcome to the speedo part of this video. As I mentioned earlier, this build is a part of the Summer Shell Challenge, which is taking place on Lucio Cass's channel. So I'll have his channel as well as the video that like explains the rules of the challenge um, down below. So go check that out if you wanna participate in the challenge. Um, but basically the challenge is you have a set of exterior walls that everyone is given, which I'm working on right now and you can't really delete them you can't really change them you can like modify them a little bit with like there's some rules and like changes you can make with them but he talks about that in his video so go check that out um but it's definitely a challenge and very hard so if you want to do it um brace yourselves and i wish you the best of luck um if you want if you do end up using this challenge make sure you put the hashtag lukio cast the marshall challenge in the description box down below so that he can look at it and put it in a video because he's going to do that if you do want to be a part of the video though, make sure that it's done by August 15th, which is in a week or two from now, or a week from now. So yeah, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to be a part of the video um, if you don't want to, and like it's, there's not really a deadline, but if you want to be part of the video, then yeah, August 15th, I think is the deadline date. So make sure you get that done. But yeah, this house has been the death of me. I've actually wanted to smash my head into a wall many times working in this house. Um, well, firstly, it took me a long time to like figure out what I wanted to do with like the exterior and then once I got that, I felt like I was like, I love this house. Oh my God, like I can't wait to do with the interior. And so I was working on the interior and I forgot the little um, diagonal room in the layout, which is included in the shell challenge, but I kind of forgot about it. And I didn't really do that and I messed up the whole layout for that reason. But not only like I at first I was like oh you know what the little diagonal room I don't really care maybe it's just like a mi it's a minor flaw I guess um, and I because they basically built the living room the kitchen and the bedroom all around this one layout that I already made and it just the layout just didn't really make sense because I really liked how it looked it looked really good but the layout was just not really it because upstairs got really messed up like there was really no room for any rooms like there was no really room for bedrooms or stuff it was just really awkward so i had to scrap all of it all of my work i had to scrap all the interior which i guess wasn't that much but it really was because i had a deadline too um which i'll talk about in a second but it was a pain and i i wanted to cry so bad because i really liked how it looked and i had to like redo the whole layout um and stuff and i did incorporate the diagonal piece after well the second time around doing the whole not the whole interior but the interior so that was not the greatest time ever but once i got the layout for the second time it was pretty smoothly but still a challenge because at this point i looked at this house so long that i was just about done with it and that's kind of sad because i was only really not even halfway done at the house and i was already sick of looking at it i was despising it i just didn't like it anymore um I do love it, I do like it. It's just, I'm so sick of looking at it. I'm so sick of editing it. I think I got lazy at some point. It just, it doesn't go well for me when I get that point. But I had to get this house done because I'm going on vacation tomorrow when I'm recording this. But when this is uploaded, I will already like be on vacation. So I'm gonna be probably absent from social media for a little bit. Um, but I really wanna get this house done before vacation. And I knew that if I didn't get this done, then I literally would never come back to it and never finish it. So I really had to just push it through. And um, yeah, so I haven't packed at all yet. I'm prioritizing this video over that, over packing for my vacation and stuff, which is just fun for me. I'm gonna have a fun rest of the day today of packing and cleaning and grocery shopping and all this stuff. So very fun, but I just had to get this video out and completed because it was just too much. Um, so yeah, that was my pain with this build and just besides all my issues, just the layout or this whole, like the shell challenge is just hard because I don't have, you can't really use a reference picture because you can't just like copy a layout of an already existing house or like, not that I always do that anyways, but you just can't, it's really hard to find good inspo pics. So I really had to use my mind, which I guess is good because I got to do, like be more creative and you know all that kind of stuff so that was definitely fun it sparked my creativity a lot and yeah so if you do this challenge good luck to you um it was definitely a headache for me but i do like how it turned out so don't get me wrong but i always feel like i have issues with build which is 
true, I do have a lot of, I always like get sick of them really fast of staring at them. But I really like how this house turned out. It's kind of like inspired, well, I would call it minimalism still. It's definitely minimalism, minimalist, but kind of also inspired by Japandi, which if you don't know what that is, it's, look it up on Pinterest. It's really cute. It's like kind of Japan minimalist. It's like kind of warm minimalism and it's kind of inspired by some like Japan stuff. So they have like a lot of plants and you'll see it's really cute, but I'm not going to call it Japandi because for like the algorithm, I don't think people are really searching for like Japandi Blocksburg houses because like that's kind of not as like people don't really know what Japandi is. Like some people do, but not like everybody knows. So I kind of am just going to keep it simple and just say minimalist modern house probably. I haven't actually like finished editing this video or done the thumbnail yet. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it, but it's something around minimalist modern house probably. Um, but yeah, so that, that was my inspiration around this house. But like I said, so the, the since this was a shell challenge, I kind of had to come up with a lot of the ideas on my own. I definitely had like a color scheme already planned and I had some furniture ideas, but most of it was kind of just my brain coming up with ideas. So that was really fun and a challenge. Okay, but also I just want to mention that after I get back from vacation, I think you should expect a channel rebranding or revamp, I guess, because after working this build, I'm kind of like, I really want to make my channel like a lot better. I want to make the speed build a lot easier because editing this video and like how I worked in the field was painful, actually painful. And so I want to like make it easier for you guys to follow. I want to make it easier for me to make builds and stuff. So, um, yeah, after I get back, I, my goal is to really like redo that and make it a lot easier and I'm going to add a channel banner or like redo the channel banner and like just rebrand myself in general. I like, yeah, because I've had that channel banner for so long and it doesn't really resonate with me anymore. So I'm going to like change that. Um, and yeah, so expect that when I get back and I'm really excited to like go back from vacation, take a break from Blocksburg because I've been staring at this build for so long that it's like, I mean, I said this, but I, I'm so done with this build. I am so done. I'm so done editing it. I'm so done working on it. I just want to be done. So I'm hoping that having a break, I will just clear my mind and I can come back and work on all these new projects and rebrand my channel and work on my channel and have so much fun. But it's also kind of going to be hard because after I get back from vacation, I start school, school like a week after. So that's going to be another rough thing because whenever I like go back to school, it's like it takes me a few weeks to like adjust to the schedule and planning my builds and all the kind of stuff. I'm sure, I'm sure like a lot of people can relate to that in general, like not even about Bloxburg, but yeah. So I don't know, but I really do want to do like rebrand my channel, make it easier because I see a lot of comments and they make me so sad because... Well, a lot of my older videos, I didn't really care at all. My videos now are a lot better, but I still want, there's still like work that needs to be done. And every, every video I post, I learn a little bit more every time, but I just want it to be like perfect in every way possible, like easier to follow, um, yada, yada, yada. Cause I still do the thing. I tried so hard this build to do like, I work on each room at a time. So like I work on the living room and I work until it's done. And then I work in the kitchen until it's done. And I still can't manage to do that. I always like, once I get frustrated, I move to the next room and I just work on that. Like if I do living room, I don't like it at some point, I'll just move to the next room. And I've learned that that it's not good. First of all, it's hard because for you guys watching it and recreating it. Second of all, it's hard for me because then I come back to it at the very end, which I, in the last part, I'm sure you'll see me like, I do like the finishing touches, which is me coming back and like everything that I had to skip over to move to the next room, I had to come back and do it then. And then it got even more frustrating because at that point I was so done with this build that I physically couldn't do it anymore. So I kind of just like left it there. So it just became not the greatest, I feel like. Um, I know like they always say like the art, your, the artist is always the, what is that saying? Like you're always, you're always the like, hardest critic on yourself which I know I am but I just didn't like it 
Um, and I, I got lazy at the end. And I know I got lazy at the end. And I don't know if you can tell that. But I did. I really got lazy and I feel so bad. So I'm really trying not to do that. Um, and I'm trying to like work on like eat the kitchen until it's completely how I like it. Until I love it. Work in the living room until I completely love it. And then it's going to be so much easier for everybody. Even though I still tried and I just failed at that this with this build. But um, I really want to do that. Okay. And on another like side note or another little rant thing. Um, in the past voiceover I mentioned that I was getting airpod maxes and I got them and I'm holding them in my hand because I just like to talk with my hands I guess um and I got them in silver because like that's like the safest option um and I think they go with like everything and you can like and then I bought like the little like there's little like earmuff covers or like you can buy like the cases and so like you can just buy 10 different color cases and they look like I could buy like a green one and they look actually like the green one so I just got those and they're so cute i know like a lot of people on tiktok hate them all the time but i got them on sale anyways so i felt like it was worth it and they are a game changer i haven't really had headphones and like i don't i always use my airpods or just listen to music on my phone while i'm doing build but this is a game changer because i can't get distracted i literally the noise canceling so obviously um so i don't hear anything my family talking i don't hear them dogs barking i don't hear them like i mean it's kind of scary sometimes because if you want to do some things like you can't really do that or it's like kind of scary if you're like walking outside but you can turn it off there's a button that like makes it not noise canceling anymore which i love because i like want to go on walks and i want to be able to hear my surroundings and it works and it's really nice so i love that feature on it too which is like one of the main reasons i wanted the airpod max is because they had like a good transparency mode um but i've had them for like a few weeks now and They've just made my productivity go up a lot just because I literally like can zone out and I just focus on what I'm doing. I don't hear anything like literally my brother can walk in my, my brother walks in my room and I can't hear a word he's talking to me. Sometimes I don't even know he enters my room like because I'm just zoned out. So I recommend them. They are a bit heavy, although I got used to them. So like they're not really heavy to me anymore. Like they're not that heavy as people like to say. They're like, oh, they're so heavy and they definitely don't stay on your head like if you were gonna like do vigorous exercise they wouldn't really stay on your head but i love them i like the look of them um i love how they sync to my phone right away like i literally can just put them on and they sync to whatever device i am using so if i'm using my laptop it will sync to my laptop my phone it goes to my lap my phone just with putting it on no buttons or anything so i really love the convenience and like i guess what's the word like quickness of it all it's really nice so if you're thinking about buying airpod maxes i definitely recommend so but you know there's also like the sony ones to be consider and i guess it depends on what your needs are because if you want these to work out in they're probably not the greatest but if you want them just for like working on a desk all day they're, they're really good <laughs> and i use them to like when i'm cleaning my room and stuff um and they really just help me stay focused so i love them a lot and i never like got around to reviewing them i don't think so yeah, that's my little review of my airpod maxes and yeah i love them a lot okay um so i think i'm gonna end the speed build or the voiceover here mainly because it's already like noon for me and i have to pack i haven't packed at all i leave tomorrow morning and i haven't packed at all I have to clean i have to go do errands all this stuff and i still haven't done any of it so i'm going to probably leave edit it edit this and upload it as fast as I can. So this is a very short voiceover. I'm very sorry for that, but I just have to like get that done. Um, so yeah, um, I also don't, don't really know what else to talk about. And I saw someone talk um, a comment saying that they wanted me to do like a Q and A in one of my voiceovers. And so if that was you, um, I always try to answer my questions in my comments in the voiceover. So leave me comments down below and I'll try to like, I'll always try to like respond to them in a voiceover because that is gonna be something to talk about. And I mean, obviously it's gonna be helpful for you too. So I love your questions when you guys ask me questions and yeah, but that's gonna be it for the whole voiceover part. And I'm just gonna put music to the rest of this build because I have to finish it upload it and yeah i already said that but it's gonna be a rough few hours for me as i finish this up and pack and clean and do everything but yeah so that is gonna be it i hope you guys enjoyed my voiceover and speed build and the whole tour and stuff but 
I will see you guys in the next part. I don't know how many parts this is going to be. I think maybe two or three. Um, so yeah. I will see you guys in the next part. Bye!